Ladies and gentlemen, if you've made it to this video because you already know me and my work, first off, thanks so much for your support yet again. It gives me the energy to do things like this and make our community stronger. If you got here by chance or you don't really know about me or the Blue Crew yet, let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Blue. I'm your average millennial with a day job and a dark secret. After hours, I draw comics. Let me just say real quick that this is my first video. I'm plugged into my laptop right now with $10 earbuds and I'm doing my best. So please forgive the quality. I know it's not good, but it's early in my video making journey and I don't want to spend any money for a nicer set right now. So yeah. Anyway, where was I? I started out like most of us do, drawing since I was a kid, but my path to where I am now definitely has some twists and turns. I was born and raised in South Carolina, which for my non-American friends is in the southeast part of the country, along the Atlantic coast. I was raised in the foothills with my brother, by a single mom and my grandparents. Even though there was just the three of us in the house, it was always crowded. We had a good bit of land and my mom filled it with dogs. At one point we had like 13, and not small little fluffers either, I'm talking like German Shepherds and other big breeds. When I was little little we even had chickens for a while, then when I was a teenager we had goats. I love goats man, and my goat was the coolest. Her name was Maddie and she was sassy as all get out. She would constantly get out of the fence and get into trouble, and she would only come back when I got home from school and called her name. Probably because she knew she was getting fed, but let's just pretend it was our bond, okay? I was really into cartoons as a kid, and as I got older, I started getting into anime, manga, and that kind of stuff. One of the mangas that got me started was Trigun. I actually started watching it as the anime version, staying up super late on school nights to watch Adult Swim on Cartoon Network with my little brother. We also watched Inuyasha and Cowboy Bebop. Those are the only ones I can really remember right now, but Trigun was really my favorite. I had the box set, I had the actual mangas, I had them in Japanese, I was really into it. But you know what I hated? Courage the Cowardly Dog. Dude, that stuff was... Way too scary for a little kid to watch at like 1am. I mean, I, it's still scary now to me as well. I don't know if I have to get into details about this, but very early on it was clear that art as a career was not an option for me. It's a tough field to break into and the money isn't necessarily very good unless you're at the top. At least that's what I've been told and what I've seen so far. So growing up, I drew all the time, but figured I wouldn't be able to do it as a career, and that was fine, but I didn't put all my time and energy into it to get better. After getting a job as a teenager to save for college, my free time for drawing dwindled. I got my first job when I was 17, working for a sandwich restaurant chain. I wanted to make the sandwiches, but they made me work the register at first. Apparently I have a knack for customer service. Joke's on them, because I was internally screaming the whole time I wanted to work in the back. After a few months, they made me a shift leader, but failed to up my pay, so I bounced right out of there and started working at the local grocery store. I worked the video rental section. Yeah, I know I'm showing my age here. We used to rent videos. Yeah, I know. I worked in the gas station part the front end as a cashier and a bagger, I cleaned toilets, I took out the trash, I stayed busy. When college time came around, I transferred myself to the same grocery chain, but the one in the college town, so I could still make money. I ended up studying food science, which is actually really cool. My favorite part of my studies was the chemistry and microbiology parts. With a science major, I was able to score some sweet scholarships, but I still had to work to make ends meet. Studying a science, plus work, yeah, I was barely drawing anymore. While I was in college, I met my husband, who I call Uncle, online. If I'm Auntie Blue, then he's Uncle Blue, right? I mean, it makes sense to me. So yeah, I met Uncle at the grocery store I was working at. He was studying at the same university as me, but he was in engineering, which was like the opposite side of the campus. So we had never seen each other before. 
He lived behind the grocery store, so he would go to the one I worked at for convenience. He ended up asking me some questions about the medicine that we had at the pharmacy section, and the sparks were just there, you know? He actually came back a few days later to ask me for my number, and the rest is history. I liked food science so much, I went and got a master's in it too. It took a lot of convincing from uncle though to get me to commit to school again. In time, we traveled up and down the coast and eventually across the Atlantic. We lived abroad for a few years where I taught English as a second language, and by this point, you guessed it, I wasn't drawing at all. Eventually, we moved back to the States and I found another job. Still, I wasn't drawing. But with some newfound free time, I picked up my pencil again. That was a disappointment. I don't know what I expected after taking a seven year break, but okay, I felt how I felt. I was really upset that I wasn't as good as I remembered myself being, and I needed some inspiration to get back into it. I ended up reviving a super old project I started way back in high school when I was like 15 or 16. Back when I still had some creativity in me, you know? An old comic idea I was calling Blue Remedy. But now, with 15 years more life experience, I had a different viewpoint to draw from. I totally rebooted the story. I'll tell you more about that another time, probably in my next video, but that sparked my interest in drawing comics again. One week, I worked a lot of overtime so I could buy myself a tablet, and I'd give digital drawing a try. It seemed, you know, a lot easier for making comics than traditional pencil and ink, which is what I used as a kid. Not gonna lie, I really like digital. I love the undo function. I can't get by without it anymore. Um, I think it's pretty obvious that I do digital now since I'm literally showing you a speed paint on Metabang. But anyway, to keep myself dedicated to it and not have a 100 year long break again, I made my art a part of my life and I turned it into a brand, Blue Rabbit Comics. I think it sounds super cool, but I know I'm old. Maybe it's dumb, but too late now. I'm married to it. I made it up from the initials of my original comic Blue Remedy, since I was using the initials BR everywhere already. It was too much of a headache to make new accounts and stuff, so I had to make the BR thing work. For the B, I kept Blue, and I spun off the nickname my husband has for me, which is Bunny. And I came up with Blue Rabbit. I first got into the art community through Instagram in 2019. No, it wasn't any better. Yes, it sucks and I hate it, but you know, that's the one that you hear about the most, right? Like as a startup, you hear, oh, Instagram. Since my account was Blue Remedy at the time, people took to calling me Blue and the name stuck. Over time, as I met more and more people who were almost always younger than me, I took on the mantle of Anti Blue, which also stuck. It's a good thing I like it. Even though I'm gainfully employed in an office job, which is super boring by the way, but it leaves a lot of time for me to think about the story ideas, I don't want my hobby to become a burden on my family financially. So I started making prints, opened a Patreon, a Ko-Fi, anything else I could do to catch a few bucks here and there. Sometimes I'll even do commissions. So far, it's going okay. I call my supporters the Blue Crew, and we're a pretty cool bunch, but I'm probably biased. Nah, we are super cool. So that's me. I'm Blue, your art community auntie. My favorite ice cream is pistachio, I love flannel shirts and skinny jeans, and I draw comics. It's nice to meet you. I hope I'll see you around. Hold up, hold up, wait a second. Before you go anywhere, did you know that my comic Blue Remedy is posting bi-weekly on Webtoons and Tapas? I also have the uncensored version on my website for free. All right, I'll have the link in the description box if you want to check it out. It's the reason I started drawing again. It is my passion project and I care so much about this story. So I really hope that you check it out and that you like it as much as I do. Anyway, let's wrap up this video with some mood music and I will catch you in the next one.